Hello everybody, it is Baldrick Sod off here, and in today's video you are obviously watching some Battlefield 4 PC gameplay, but I don't think that's why you're here. Uh, basically this video I'll be commentating on my general thoughts on the Assault class and giving you some information about it. I previously am pretty sure I did a video about this during the Battlefield 4 beta, but obviously a few things have changed and I think it's time to do a full sort of review on this class. At the moment I'm only level 8 so I don't, haven't unlocked every single weapon but I've got about 4 out of the uh, I think it's 13 guns or something no it's 11 guns but yeah it's 4 out of the 11 assault rifles so I, I'm getting there eventually but I think I've unlocked enough to sort of give you a brief overview so anyway let's get started uh, when you first uh, start playing Battlefield 4 uh, the default assault class comes with the AK-12 and what's the pistol's name I'll get it up right now I always forget it's a name it's a bad name for a pistol it is the P226 so it's nothing great that pistol it's got bad accuracy I find but anyway I don't think many of you really use the pistol too much unless you're reloading or something so let's uh, talk about the AK-12 the AK-12 is a default weapon is basically perfect it caters for all the assault class needs including close range long range and medium range but it doesn't obviously have sniper rifle range where you can pick off anyone anywhere in the map especially on the really big maps but it does have a few down points when you first start you only really get one attachment and that's basically the red dot sight it would be good if it gave you full attachments for that weapon since it's a default weapon but then again I think it's in a way good that you have to unlock it yourself and for the next weapon you get a heavy weapon which is the uh, what's it called the scar H the Scar H has a very big bullet it fires and you can tell that by its recoil which it gives you and the 20 round mag you definitely realize that it does a lot of damage and it's only good in medium to long range it's not a good close range weapon at all but then you move on to other guns like the M416 and the SAR21 and then you get other guns that are similar such as the AUG A3 and the I think the M116A4 is a, one of the best weapons you can unlock. I haven't unlocked it, but people are saying that it's a very versatile and good weapon to use. And then you've got the QBZ951, which you unlock by doing a mission in the campaign, which I've not yet completed, unfortunately. But I'll give you some more information on the Assault class. Basically, this is like the medic class from Battlefield 3. Uh, that's because you can unlock a defibrillator and basically revive your teammates once they have died. Uh, but be warned, they've only got like a 5 second timer before, they, before you can't revive them anymore. And most people don't even accept your revive. I know I never accept many revives unless I'm in a really good area. And you also get the health pack which is very very important to you sometimes and it really does help you out especially if you're playing solo like I usually do you just throw it in front of you get on top of it and it regenerates your health or any other teammates health which you throw it to and people love you for doing this because it, whenever I see a health pack on the fly I go yes and I go on top of it uh, another thing with the assault class you'd probably want to be aware of is the uh, you can use many extra peripherals such as uh, that shotgun attachment which you can get on most guns and also the grenade launcher which I'd highly recommend if you're going up against many vehicles you just give them a shot it lowers their health a bit they're a bit distracted and you just run past them or you can just not shoot them at all and run past them but I think everybody likes doing a bit of damage especially being a foot soldier Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little assault class commentary. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe to my channel because it's free. See you later guys, have a nice day.